Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video. Today we are diving into Sublime and before we dive into the video I got gifted the Sublime lifetime plan uh, when I did a couple of videos on Sublime last year and I got gifted the lifetime plan like January this year so I just wanted to get that out there. I also have an affiliate link for Sublime which I will leave down below but I know that everyone doesn't like affiliate links so I will also leave a regular link but if you like Sublime and you want to the channel then uh, the uh, the affiliate link is probably the best way to do that uh, now to the video uh, sublime is a note-taking app that is a little different i call it a different kind of second brain and that is the whole point the whole uh, idea behind this application is that it is supposed to be a different uh, second brain which i really like uh, i have played around with this application. Uh, I am currently playing around for a specific video. Uh, I'm playing around with Sublime to see if you could use this as your only note-taking app with a task manager. So that is something I am playing uh, around with. But currently it is a part of my workflow as an inspiration app, more like a commonplace book. Uh, but as I said, I'm playing around with it for a video. So I thought that I would take you through my uh, workflow in Sublime uh, and also then go through some of the pros and cons and just let us start off with the con. Uh, it doesn't have a dark mode which I know a lot of people love and for my YouTube videos like dark mode is important because it is easier on the eyes of uh, the viewers so that is just um, it is something it doesn't have that I have to mention. Uh, you can press the plus here to upload stuff, write stuff, paste links, uh, create canvases and collections. I will show you my uh, collections. I don't use canvas a lot, at least not yet, but I think I will start using it more since I've started using this more and more for uh, my writing and my content creation. Um, and I think that is where like Sublime uh, shines. If you want to create something with your notes, if you have a lot of highlights and you want to create something, uh, I think this is a great application. Uh, so the way it works and the way I use it is that uh, like Sublime did not make sense to me until I uh, decided that I wanted Readwise, which I'm really happy about. I will do a video on Readwise later. Uh, but I am so happy uh, that I ended up using Readwise because now most of these things you see here, like the desk, uh, uh, Greek lessons, um, I have more, I think, more Greek lessons, even more Greek lessons, the strategy behind Dia's design. Uh, this is also from Readwise. All of these are from Readwise. So I rarely actually put things into the application. I come in here to find things. Uh, that is mainly what I use this application for. Some things I add like this is um, an idea for a social media post at my uh, day job and I should probably put it into a, a collection for that. So what I will do is that I will create a collection. Uh, I think I have one for my day job. I actually don't. Uh, so I will create one. Uh, I will make this private um, and I will create it. So you have private and uh, public collections. A lot of mine are public. Uh, some of them are private. Uh, when a collection is private, it is out of one of two reasons. The first one is that it is personal things like these are my social media links, uh, which you can see like below every YouTube video. These are the links. These are like my color codes. My affiliate links are down here. Um, so these are just things I like mark and I copy paste. Uh, so that is the first uh, type of thing I won't make public like the one collection I just made uh, was for my day job where I have a lot of ideas uh, or things I've read that fit into that um, uh, or fit into my uh, day job stuff. Uh, I won't make that uh, public. But I also have another one, and this is AI destroying our thinking is an example of that. Uh, so uh, this is something uh, that isn't finished. So the idea doesn't feel finished, but once it is finished and I'm ready to like actually write about it, uh, I will make it public. Uh, apart from that, like I have inspirational things. I have thought provoking things. I have like mental health stuff. 
and these are just the ones that are pinned. I actually have a lot of them. Um, I don't take I like I don't um think too much about uh about the collections. I just try to add as many as possible. Sometimes like I will have an idea of a blog post or a social media idea that I will make a collection for it. Uh, but that is like the first way that is the inspiration gathering process i have inside of sublime there is another way i am using it and that is let's say i am looking for something about productivity i will go into the sublime home and i will search for productivity and i will press enter and i will find everything related to uh, productivity uh, and like i can think that this one, for example, is really interesting. I will open this up and I will check uh, the related cards and I will go like this and I will add these to my collections. Uh, so uh, let's say this one is really important. I would uh, add it to my collection. Productivity. What is productivity? I will add it to my library like that. Um, so that is something I will do a lot of uh, when I'm like actively looking for information. This search engine is amazing. Uh, it has OCR, so it can search for text within images. And it also works here. So I can search for productivity here as well. And it will like find things related to uh, productivity. There is also one thing I am planning to do if I scroll a little bit down that isn't something I've tried out yet uh, because uh, I haven't like um, I haven't um, used the application enough or I haven't used readwise enough uh, I just got my Kobo like two weeks ago so I'm starting reading a lot more uh, if we just take this one, I would probably add all of these to something called, uh, to a collection called Greek Lessons, the name of the book. And I would then write, I would press this plus, write, and I would write my thoughts on the book, uh, more like a book review for myself in case I ever wanted to go back, my thoughts on it, what I think was important. And I will add that into the collection as well. So I will have probably have one collection for each of the books and what's cool about these cards is that they can live in different places so that is something I will definitely uh, test out um, so that is like how I'm using it one thing I would really like is that uh, if I click into my own library and check related cards it would be amazing if it showed me my own related cards like the related cards that are in my library and not in uh, all of Sublime. That is actually something they are working on uh, according to their FAQs. That is something that is coming. Uh, so um, that would be an amazing feature. Dark mode of course would be amazing. Um, the mobile application is okay. Um, I don't use it a lot. It is more for like scrolling to your ideas rather than uh, like using it as you would use this uh, web version, which I'm currently using. Uh, the canvas is also something I wanted to test out uh, a lot more. Uh, so this is something I can um, I can use my collections. So let's do what is productivity and let's create one uh, canvas. Um, this isn't something I use a lot. I think canvases are great for like connecting your uh, different ideas. This is a TL uh, draw. Uh, so I can connect different things together like this. I will go ahead and delete uh, my uh, collection after I'm uh, or delete my canvas after I'm done with it. I just wanted to show you that it is possible to like create um, really good um, whiteboards in here as well. Um, but that isn't something I have been using uh, a lot. Uh, I don't know why yet, uh, but I will definitely do it. I can also add collaborators to this, which is also a great feature. So um, I think this is, again, as I said many times before, this is tailored to people who create something with their notes. Uh, I think like in the long run, it can be used uh, by people who just want to see a lot of interesting things and maybe use social media less uh, and connect ideas more but 
Um, for an application like this to work, you have to capture a lot of things. And as I said, um, for me personally, it didn't make sense until I got readwise. Now it makes so much more sense in my workflow. Even uh, not readwise until I got my Kobo like two two and a half weeks ago. It didn't feel like it made that much sense, but it feels like it makes uh, much more sense uh, now. So. Again, that is like highly personal. It will be different from uh, person to person, but I find myself using uh, Sublime a lot more uh, after I uh, purchased both Readwise and Akobo, and it makes so much more uh, sense now. So uh, I am getting, like I said before, that uh, I probably would not use this application uh, if I hadn't gotten the like free lifetime plan i am getting closer towards i would probably use this application but i don't think that i would figure out how it worked uh, if i didn't have uh, the time uh, with the lifetime plan to like just play around getting readwise and things like that so i am getting closer towards um towards being um being happier about the application and uh knowing uh, how to use it and also knowing like how it fits into my uh, workflow uh, so I am getting like I think I'm a bigger fan of Sublime now than I was uh, before uh, when it comes to the pricing of Sublime I will quickly take you through that as well so you have a yearly plan for 70% five dollars each year you have uh, a premium plus plan uh, for a hundred uh, each year with this you get unlimited cards collection canvases advanced privacy and collaborations uh, unlimited related cards uh, integrations kindle readwise array cost uh, csv and zip uh, premium badge uh, and also early access to features and priority custom support this isn't too expensive actually compared to a lot of the note-taking apps with um with similar um with similar features uh, and also like the note-taking applications in general are quite expensive um this is the premium plus plan with that you get the substack paid membership you get discount on merch uh, and you get access to our archives vault vision deck raw figma files and other behind the scenes you can also pay for the lifetime with that you get a one-on-one -on -one onboarding call as well as investor uh, updates uh, so that actually covers the pricing of uh, this uh, application so uh, that is like my thoughts the pricing how i use it i will be back in um a couple of weeks probably a month to do a more in-depth like tutorial and give you my thoughts on how can this be used as or if it can be used as your only uh, note-taking app together with a task management app because this application of course does not have tasks which might be annoying to some but I think it is really important for an application like this uh, but I think that covers it for today's uh, video